Now in the previous video, we talked about how Azure NetApp Files is laid out from your storage account down to your volumes and how all of that gets mounted to NFS and SMB authenticated through Active Directory. I wanted to take it down one level deeper to talk to you guys about how you can begin to take advantage of snapshots to leverage other types of workloads such as dev test and things like that. So let's go back to where we were. Let's say we have uh, three big capacity pools. Uh, one is standard, one is premium, and one is ultra, the super fast one, right? And in here, in standard, we've got some volumes of some user data, maybe some home drives, uh, your H drives, or your P drives, whatever drives they might be. And those are mounted out over SMB. And in addition, you've got, uh, we'll just call it like finances, shared drive, and you've got HR, however you want to architect that out, right? These are just users accessing their login strip, script driven mount points on their local workstations. But in premium, you're gonna start introducing some actual workloads here. So we might have a stack of volumes that all make up a multi-tier Oracle application or SAP or something along those lines. And maybe you're even driving enough performance to warrant using ultra instead of uh, premium there. So where this gets fun is how you can take advantage of snapshots. This can all be done via the, the GUI in the Azure portal, or you can do this programmatically through APIs or with Terraform templates, with Ansible, uh, PowerShell, even has a series of PowerShell commandlets to do all of this stuff as well. But the concept remains the same regardless of how you execute it. What if we had a series of snapshots? Because yes, you can take advantage of snapshots of every volume that's in there and you can keep a number of snapshots uh, one an hour if you want to. But where this gets fun is you can take these and mount these up as a secondary uh, testing site for dev test. So let's say you wanted to test a new patch of Oracle that came out or you had a new batch run that you wanted to test to make sure it scripted properly uh, before dropping it into your production workloads, right? You can take snapshots of the volumes and clone those snapshots and make them fully writable volumes. So now in addition to your production volumes that haven't been touched, you don't have to worry about them, you have snapshots of them, and in the snapshots, you're cloning those into fully rewritable volumes. And this is where you start to point your dev test at. Without ever touching production, you're getting production data as quick as a snapshot can be created without ever really having to copy anything. You're still hitting the same underlying storage, but the manipulation that you're doing in dev test isn't happening in production, it's happening here. If you're familiar with NetApp and you're familiar with ONTAP and how uh, Waffle and ONTAP does snapshots, you're completely comfortable here. This is the exact same concept. All of this under the covers is ONTAP at the end of the day. That's one of the beauties of it. So if you've been doing this kind of stuff on-prem for your app owners and your lines of business owners, you can continue to do that in Azure NetApp Files, provide them snapshots for data, uh, data protection and retention, or you can provide it for dev test, QA, all of that sorts of stuff. That's an overview on snapshots. Uh, stay tuned, we'll be back for another one very soon. Take care.